Alright. Let's first unbox this Tenda F3 router. This is a single band router. It can only transmit under the 2.4 GHz frequency. I want to mention that first, so you can avoid this, if you are looking for a 5 GHz router. No 5 GHz here. Which is why Tenda F3 is very cheap at only 545 Philippine pesos from Lazada. You can get the link of the product from the video description below. It has 3 LAN ports and 1 wide area network port. It also has 3 5 dpi external antennas, with a dimension of 185 by 185 by 27 mm. Just like any modern routers, it has multiple internet connection type for PPPoE, dynamic IP and static IP. Unlike the Tenda AC5 which I have unboxed and set up more than 6 months ago, which only has one LED indicator, the F3 has 8. That's for the system, Wi-Fi, LAN 1 to 3, WAN, WPS and T. I am showing the meaning of each of the LED light in the Tenda F3 in the screen now. You can pause the video if you want to read through them. Okay. We have the manual here from the box. It looks detailed enough for the steps on its installation guide. This kind of manual will be a big help for the beginners. We also have the power brick here. It is the usual 9V 6 ampere power adapter with round interface. Let's put that aside for now. Let's now go to the Tenda F3 router itself. It looks good. Just the plain rectangular and formal looking router. Unlike the Tenda AC5 which looks more like a space pod or something. We have the three antennas here. Let's stretch them out. At the back you have the details of the router here. Take note of the last five characters of the MAC address here, since that is also the SSID of this router, concatenated a prefix of Tenda underscore. At the left part, you can see the model, IP address, default password and other information about the router. Okay. Let's put everything aside for now and let's plug in the Tenda F3 router. Wait, let me peel out this plastic first. Okay. We will be using this connection here. This LAN cable is connected to one of the LAN ports of my Converge router. This will be the source of the connection for our Tenda F3 router here. Alright. Let's now plug it into a power source. We have the power input port here at the back side. Oh, I forgot to show you the ports here. We have a WAN, or wide area network port here, along with LAN 1, 2 and 3 ports. Okay. I am plugging it in for real now this time. We now have the system light blinking, which means the router is working. Let's wait for the other lights to go up. Alright. After about a minute, the Wi-Fi LED light is on, which means we are now ready to set up the Tenda F3 router. Since my last Tenda video, which is for AC5, I have shown how to set it up using a laptop, for this one, I'll be showing you how to set this up using purely my ROG Phone 5 cell phone. From your phone, just go to the Wi-Fi settings. You should be able to see the SSID of the Tenda F3 router. It will be Tenda underscore, and the last five characters of the MAC address indicated at the back sticker. So that would be Tenda underscore DCA428. We should connect to that. When connected, it will automatically take you to the Tenda setup page. By default it is on PPPoE, and you can use that if you want to set it up with that connection type, or even static IP. But if you want to make your life easier, I highly suggest just to set it to dynamic IP. Under dynamic IP, you can change the SSID name and password of the router's Wi-Fi. The best advantage of setting the Tenda F3 router to a dynamic IP is, after setting it up one time, that's it. You're done. You can plug the Tenda F3 to the LAN port of any main router, regardless of what internet provider it is, and it will work. An IP address compatible with your current source provider will automatically be generated for the Tenda F3. You will basically make your Tenda F3 router a plug-and-play router, when you set it up as a dynamic IP. Once the SSID name and password is set, just tap the OK button. That's it. Setup is done. Now, since we changed the SSID of the Tenda F3 router, we will be disconnected and will need to reconnect using the new SSID we've set. As you can see here, I am now connected to different Wi-Fi. Let's search for the SSID name we've set, then connect to that. We'll need to enter the password that we've set as well, of course. Okay. We are now connected but no internet yet. That is because our Tenda F3 has no internet source yet. I usually plug in the connection source to LAN 1, but just for a fun experiment, let's use the WAN port for the connection source on this. Oh. I forgot to mention earlier, that the Tenda F3 router can also be mounted on a wall, if you want to save some space, you can use this two wall mounting holes to hang it. Okay. As I've said, let's plug the LAN cable from our source, the Converge router, to this WAN port. Then we will check if it will work, if the Tenda F3 can still transmit a good Converge Wi-Fi. Here we go. Alright. The one LED light is blinking fast now. Looks like it will work. Let's test from my phone. Let's first check my connection. Okay. 
We are still connected to our Tenda F3 router, and as you can see, we now have an internet. Wow. Plugging in the internet source to one port works. But we still need to verify this if we indeed have a good internet connection here. Let's do a speed test. Okay. The connection is converge. The speed is also great. My converge plan is on a 65 Mbps speed. Alright. Everything looks great. I can't believe connecting our internet source to the WAN port really works. Now, if you want to go to the Tenda F3 router settings page, just open your browser and go to the IP address indicated in the back sticker. That would be 192.168.0.1. Okay. Since the settings page has no password set yet, we are automatically taken to the Tenda F3 settings landing page. For the detailed discussion of each part of the settings here, I suggest watching my video for the Tenda AC5 from the link that will pop up in the screen, which you can also find in the video description below. I will not go through them anymore in this video, since I already discussed the same exact setting details from my AC5 video. I guess the only important thing to discuss here is the administration settings since this is where you can set the password for this Tenda F3 router settings page. It is important to set this password so that no one can mess or change your router settings. Everyone needs that security. Alright. That's it for this video. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.